In this short video, we're going to look at adding and subtracting unlike algebraic fractions. Now, unlike algebraic fractions have a different denominator. And we can only add or subtract fractions with the same denominator. So the first thing we have to do is rewrite them as equivalent fractions that have the same denominator. So equivalent fractions represent the same number. And the easiest common denominator to use is the LCD. If you don't use the LCD, you can still add or subtract, but in the end you're going to have to do some kind of simplification. So you'll save some work if you can find the LCD. So let's just start with a numeric example. And we'll start by finding the LCD. Remember we have to factor all the denominators. And uh, I go ahead and rewrite the subtraction using the factored form of the denominators. And then I'll find the LCD. And I just said, well, 6 is 2 times 3, so I'm making a kind of table here. 15 is 3 times 5. The 3 can go under the 3 from the previous denominator. And so the LCD will be 2 times 3 times 5. And now, again, this is the technique that we would use with algebraic fractions. I look at each denominator and say, what is missing from that denominator in order to make the LCD? So in the first denominator, I have 2 times 3. What's missing is multiplication by 5. So I'm going to multiply by 5. Well, I can't just multiply by 5 in the bottom. I have to do the same thing in the top because that's a form of 1, and multiplying by 1 will not change the value of the fraction. And then I'll do the same thing in the second fraction. I, my denominator has 3 times 5. My LCD has 2 times 3 times 5, so I need to multiply top and bottom by 2. So that now the bottom is the LCD in factored form. And I'll leave that in factored form, but I will multiply out the top of each fraction and perform the subtraction. Now I have 25 minus 16, which is 9. And then I'll go ahead and factor that 9 to see if there are any forms of 1. And there is. So we'll go ahead and divide out that 3 over 3. That leaves me with 3 over 10. Now with algebraic fractions, we'll actually leave the denominator uh, and the numerator in factored form. All right, so let's look at an example with algebraic fractions. So the first step is to go ahead and factor all of the denominators. And then I rewrite my addition using the factored form. Now I find the LCD, and so again I have a y minus 2 and a y plus 1, then y minus 2, y plus 2, so I write the y minus 2 under the current y minus 2. The y plus 2 doesn't appear anywhere above it, so it gets its own column, and then the LCD is just the product of all those three factors. And now I can look back in my addition at each denominator and see what's missing. Well, in the first denominator, I have a y minus 2 and a y plus 1. What's missing is the y plus 2. So that gets multiplied top and bottom in the first fraction. In the second fraction, I have a y plus 2 and a y minus 2. What's missing is the y plus 1. Then I remind myself that this division bar is a grouping symbol, so I should have 2y plus 1 and y minus 3 multiplied as groups, that is, multiplied as a binomial in parentheses. So we'll multiply those out. we we'll use some FOIL there. Write it over our common denominator, which is the LCD. Collect all the like terms. And then, if possible, we would factor the numerator. That would mean finding two numbers whose product is negative 3 and whose sum is positive 3. And there are no such numbers. So 
3y squared plus 3y minus 1 is a prime polynomial, and so no simplification is possible. Here's another example with algebraic fractions. Let's go ahead and start by factoring all of the denominators and finding the LCD. So n squared minus 4 is n plus 2 times n minus 2. n squared plus n minus 2 is n plus 2 times n minus 1. So the LCD has the three factors, n plus 2, n minus 2, and n minus 1. So let's go ahead and rewrite the fraction, the subtraction problem, with factored denominators. And then we'll multiply top and bottom by the factor that's missing in order to make the LCD. So the n plus 2 in the second fraction I have to treat as a group. So we'll go ahead and put that in parentheses. Write it with a common denominator. Oh, put a little exclamation mark. Oh, this subtraction, when I perform this multiplication, the n plus 2 times n minus 2, I'm going to have to remember to subtract whatever comes out of that multiplication as a group. So it should be in brackets. This is what I mean. Here I have minus this whole group right here. And clean that up. And so when I multiply out this product of conjugates, n plus 2 times n minus 2, I would get n squared minus 4. But I have to subtract that as a group. So I put it inside brackets. Now I can distribute the minus sign to everything inside the brackets and uh, then collect any like terms. There's actually not any like terms. Oh, there's the minus 3 and the plus 4. OK, so let's go ahead and do that. And it's always nice to put the uh, n squared term first, and then the n, and then the constant term. Uh, to see if we can factor this, I'm going to start by factoring out a negative 1. So I'm used to seeing the quadratic term have a positive coefficient. And uh, then I can see that uh, I cannot factor this any further, n squared minus 3n minus 1 is a prime polynomial. So no further simplification is possible. All right, so I want to finish up with a couple of examples that are actually simple. Uh, whenever we have uh, two denominators that are prime polynomials, they can't be factored, uh, then the LCD is just their product. And we might see that quite a bit. And so it actually makes it pretty simple, saves us some time. Uh, that just means that I'll have to multiply uh, the first fraction by m minus 3 over m minus 3, and the second fraction by m plus 1 over m plus 1. And go ahead and multiply that out, collect any like terms. And then uh, can I factor this? Well, I would need two numbers whose product is negative 6 and sum is positive 3, and the answer is that there are no such numbers. So m squared plus 3m minus 6 is a prime polynomial. Can't simplify it. And then here I have a whole number plus uh, a fraction. And so again, this is a simple case in the sense that we only have one denominator. If you only have one denominator, that is the LCD. Now, of course, I can rewrite 3 as 3 over 1. And so that means I'll need to multiply it times x plus 4 over x plus 4. And I don't really have to do anything to the second fraction, but just to remind myself that I'm, I, if I wanted to, I could multiply it times 1 over 1. And so then I'll get the uh, x squared plus 3x plus 12 all over x plus 4. And are there two numbers that multiply to make 12 and add to make 3? I don't think so. 
So again, we cannot simplify or factor or simplify uh, the uh, final answer.